Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice exponential equation. 4 to the power x plus h to the power x is equal to 36. We need to find all possible values of x. So, let's start. This 4 to the power x can be written as 2 squared and a whole to the power x plus this 8 to the power x can be written as 2 cubed and whole to the power x is equal to 36. Now, by using this property a to the power m whole to the power n is equal to a to the power n and whole to the power m. This 2 to the power 2 whole to the power x can be written as 2 to the power x and whole to the power 2 plus this 2 cubed whole to the power x can be written as 2 to the power x and whole to the power 3 is equal to 36. Now here we have same expression 2 to the power x and here we have same expression 2 to the power x. So we suppose that let 2 to the power x is equal to m and we substitute m in this equation then this equation will become m squared plus m cubed is equal to 36. Next m squared plus m cubed is equal to this 36 can be written as 27 plus 9. Now, because uh, this uh, 27, this uh, 27 is the uh, same as 3 cubed. So, we write this 27 with this uh, m cubed and because uh, this 9, this 9 is same as 3 squared. So, we write this 9 with this m squared. Then, uh, this equation will become m cubed, this uh, positive 27 will become negative 27 at left hand side plus uh, this m squared, and this uh, plus 9 will become negative 9 at left hand side is equal to 0. Next, m cubed minus, we write this uh, 27 as 3 cubed plus m squared minus uh, we write this 9 as 3 squared is equal to 0. Now, by using this uh, algebraic identity a cubed minus b cubed is equal to a minus b times a squared plus uh, a b plus b squared. This uh, m cubed minus uh, 3 cubed will become m minus 3 times m squared plus uh, 3 times m plus 3 squared or 9 plus uh, by using this algebraic identity a squared minus uh, b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b this uh, m squared minus uh, 3 squared will become m plus 3 times m minus 3 is equal to 0. Now, this expression m minus 3, this expression m minus 3 is a common factor. So, we factor out this uh, m minus 3 and in bracket left, in bracket left this uh, m squared plus 3m uh, plus 9 and this uh, plus m plus 3. In bracket left, m squared plus 3 times m plus 9 plus m plus 3 is equal to 0. Next, m minus 3 times m squared. This 3m plus 1m will become plus 4 times m. Plus this 9 and this 3 will become 12. 
is equal to 0. Now from here either this expression m minus 3 is equal to 0 or this expression m squared plus 4 times m plus 12 is equal to 0. From this equation we get the value of m is equal to 3 and from this equation we see that the discriminant of this equation is less than 0 or greater than 0. In this equation a is equal to 1 b is equal to 4 and c is equal to 12 and discriminant t is equal to b squared minus 4 a c. So, the discriminant will be equal to in place of b we write 4 squared minus 4 times in place of a we write 1 times in place of c we write 12 and this is equal to 4 squared is 16 and negative 4 times 1 times 12 negative 48 and 16 minus 48 is negative 32. So, the discriminant also called delta is less than 0. So, no real solutions can be found from this equation. So, we accept only this value of m3. Now, to find the value of x, recall that we have supposed. We have supposed that 2 to the power x is equal to m. We have supposed that 2 to the power x is equal to m. So, when m is equal to 3, then uh, this equation will become 2 to the power x is equal to in place of m we write this uh, 3 and from here we take a log of both sides log of uh, 2 to the power x is equal to log of 3. Now by using uh, this log property log of uh, a to the power m is equal to m times log of a. This uh, log of uh, 2 to the power x will become x times log of 2 is equal to log of 3. And from here we divide uh, both sides of this equation by log of 2. So, this uh, log of 2 will be cancelled with this log of 2 and we get the value of x is equal to by using uh, this log property log of a divided by log of b is equal to log base b of a. This uh, log of 3 over log of 2 will become log to the base 2 of 3. So, this is the final value of x, this is the final answer of this equation. Now, let us verify this value of x by putting this value in the original equation. The original equation is 4 to the power x plus 8 to the power x is equal to 36. In this equation, we put the value of x log base 2 of 3. Then this equation will become 4 to the power log base 2 of 3 plus 8 to the power log base 2 of 3 is equal to 36. Now, this 4 can be written as 2 squared whole to the power log base 2 of 3 plus this 8 can be written as 2 cubed whole to the power log base 2 of 3 is equal to 36. Now, by using this power rule a to the power m whole to the power n is equal to a to the power n whole to the power n. We can write this power 2 outside the brackets and this power log base 2 of 3 
inside the brackets and from here we can write this 3 outside the brackets and this log base 2 of 3 inside the brackets then this will become 2 to the power log base 2 of 3 whole to the power this power 2 plus this will become 2 to the power log base 2 of 3 and whole to the power this power 3 is equal to 36. Now, by using this log property b to the power log base b of a is equal to a. This uh, 2 to the power log base 2 of 3 will become 3. This square will come here. Thus, uh, this uh, 2 to the power log base 2 of 3 will become 3 and this uh, cube will come here is equal to 36. And this uh, 3 squared is 9 plus uh, 3 cube is uh, 27 is equal to 36. 9 plus 27 is 36 is equal to 36. You can see that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. So, this value of x log base 2 of 3 is a valid solution.